Hello everybody, this is your boy Drew GZ, and I am back. When you guessed it, another Power Ranger Lightning Collection review. As you can see by the thumbnail and the title, we are talking about the remastered Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Red Ranger Dragon Shield. Jason Lee Scott from the miniseries Green No More. I think it was a two or three part episode when Red Ranger finally lost his powers. And he transferred his powers over to Jason. But before I go any further, uh, please subscribe. Hit that button for me. I greatly appreciate it. Hit that bell for post notifications. Leave me that thumbs up. Leave comments and also share it. I greatly appreciate it. Shout out to my sponsor, Wild Hunter Clothing. I see you, Big Rome. You're doing your thing. People, I got them shirts coming. If I time you see the video, I should have it up already on my channel. So I'm working really, really hard to get them shirts up on there. So if you guys want to get the shirts, you can purchase them. And also a special shout out to Backbite and Mystery, my YouTube other brethren. He should have some new videos up by now with this video being posted. So go to his channel. The link will be in the description below. All right. So enough about that. Let's talk about one of the two figures I was excited to get. He is one of them, the Money Morphin Ranger. Power Ranger, Red Ranger, Dragon Shield, Jason Lee Scott. That was his name in the show. As you can see by this new 30th anniversary, the new box artwork from Hasbro Post. It's got the Core Six Rangers on the side, 30th anniversary at the bottom. As it's spinning around the front, it's got Jason in the front with the Power Sword and the Dragon Shield, um, as well as the blaster and the little lighting effect. I love the picture on the side, the decal. Then you got the other decal with him as Morphin, Mighty Morphin, Red Ranger. This thing is nice, man. This is one of the two figures I was excited about. You guys know if you've seen the other remaster videos I did, you know which one I do not have. Which, by the way, I do have. And his review is coming very, very soon. So you guys stay tuned. But enough about this box, man. We're going to crack him out of here. Take a look at all the accessories, man. Give you my rating. See what this thing is like, man. And then talk about some other stuff, man. So I'm excited to open this for you guys. So you guys just stay tuned, man. It's going to be it's gonna be epic. All right, you guys. As you can see, I've taken everything out of the box. Uh, before I start talking about the accessories, I'm, it's a quick question. You guys leave a comment below. Let me know what you you know to answer this question. So you know I've been doing these reviews. You guys have been watching them for quite some time. As I'm talking, you guys are watching these on the table. Tell me what's missing from the table, and I'm gonna reveal that when I get through talking about the accessories. But leave a comment. What is missing from this accessory line that I have for this Ranger in particular? Just let me know. All right. So now we're gonna talk about the accessories. So first things first. You know we got these closed fist hands. Posability purposes only. You guys know I hate these things. I like to pose my my figures with all the weapons and everything, all the good perks and stuff that they come with. So these are going in the box um, with the rest of the, the hands that pretty much all of them are the same for male and the female. These hands is for the it's morphing time. I do like the fact that they made a new mold for that. So I will use these in the B-roll. So make sure you watch the B-roll footage, please, at the end. I appreciate it. But these hands I will be using for the morpher, um, a different type of pose different type of articulation for those hands. And then of course you have the Morpher itself. Tyrannosaurus. I think I got it upside down. Let me see. Is it upside down? Yep, it was. So it's got the red. You know, just something typical has. I mean the figure was $24.99. Shout out to GameStop. Shout out to uh Big Bad Toys. And uh because that's where I got these from retail price $29.99. I think is what they are because they're the remastered version. Uh so go to the um, your local GameStop and go to Big Bad Toys. Hopefully I get some sponsorships and uh, pick them up there. And it's the Morpher. Then of course you got the the, the uh, Blade Blaster. This is it in default mode. That's what I'm gonna call it, the default mode or closed mode. Then of course you have Blaster Mode, which it looks like this. So typical Hasbro stuff um, for the most part. And then you have Blade Mode, which is the blade here. So this is always a default weapon they use when they brought out the real weapons. So. That's that. Those come all, all those come with the it comes with all the remaster. I'm not gonna say it comes with all the, the regular ranges, but all the all the remaster versions do come with that. Then of course this legendary weapon, this great, great power sword. I love this thing. I actually have the replica version also. If you have not seen that review, check that out as well. I do have that replica sword as well, the one of one scale, the ones you can cosplay with. But I love the dragon, the Red Ranger sword with the gold here. I always did like the Red Ranger sword. The one thing I liked about the Red Ranger, because I was a Green Ranger fan and JDF fan or anything, but uh, I, I like swords. I've always been into swords, and I love the power sword. This thing is just sick. I love it. So, um, Tyrannosaurus icon there on the front uh, and on the back as well. So, great, great, great sword. Then, of course, we have the lightning effects for the Red Ranger. So, one thing I love about Hasbro, how they are consistent, how they are inconsistent. 
at the exact same time. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. But nonetheless, they are consistently with these lightning effects. And I do like that. This. this is different. It's like they're powering up, so I do like that. I think that's pretty cool. And, of course, every color matches the Ranger. So that's what I like, too. So Hasbro, please take notes of the remaster. I know you guys are hiatus until 2024. I understand. But please come out with new molds and make sure the colors match all the Ranger colors. That would be so, so dope. Now, so that question I asked you guys earlier when I asked you what was missing from this on this table, if you guys have not commented yet uh, after you see this video. What's missing is the head, the civilian head. So I get four out of the five that has civilian heads, and you telling me the Red Ranger Dragon Shield one does not have a regular Jason head? That's crazy. So did y'all not give him a head because y'all gave him the Dragon Shield? Because that's nuts. The, the fact that you, if you did that, that makes no sense. So remember that word I told you with, with Hasbro, consistent and inconsistent? This is the inconsistent part that I'm going through. So if you're going to do it with one, do it with all. If he had a civilian head, give him a civilian head. That's what you gave Zach, Billy, Trini, Kimberly. And I'm going to assume, I, I'm going to promise you, I'm going to assume I have not opened up my Green Ranch yet that he has a civilian head. So you give everybody a civilian head but Jason. So Hasbro, if you're seeing this or people are emailing you this, please fix that. I greatly appreciate it. But that's what I want to tell you guys about what was missing. That's what was missing. And much as I don't like the civilian heads, I still would like to have it. But beggars can't be choosers. But enough about all that, man. We're about to get into the meat and potatoes of this video. That bad man himself, that Red Ranger Dragon Shield. I have him on the turntable, you guys. I'm excited. I'm stoked. I love the way he looks. Enough talking. I'm going to let y'all see it in the next scene. You guys stay tuned. All right, you guys. You can see I have Jason on the turntable, the Red Ranger. And I must say, this remastered version of the Red Ranger Dragon Shield, um, I love it. Um, on a side note, I'm assuming since he has the Dragon Shield, the Green Ranger does not have a shield. And if I'm looking at it so far, I'll show you guys this too. It looks like it can come off. So thank God for that. And the um the arm gauntlets, the arm gauntlets, gauntlets can't come off as well. You just slide them all the way down. So you gotta remember in the green no more see, uh, line, if you are Power Ranger fans like I am, you know, Tommy lost his power. The only way for them to save the power without really getting it is to get transfer the power to another ranger, which they did with Jason. And this is why he has a dragon shield. And on another note, I meant to say this too. He doesn't have a dragon dagger. Which is funny. Y'all gave him the power of the Green Ranger, but y'all to give him the Dragon Dagger. So I'm assuming that A, he has a civilian head on the Green Ranger, and B, the Dragon Dagger is with the Green Ranger as well. But anyway, back to the review at hand. I'm going to take him off the turntable, pull him a little bit closer. And first impressions, I love this Red Ranger. This thing is just really, really nice. I love the Dragon Shield. I love the coat, the gold, uh, the head, typical Hasbro, spins around in a circle. I uh, love the head scope. It's pretty cool. The Dragon Shield, I love it. It looks just like the show. As you can see, I think you can pop these off. It has two holes here, and it got two holes up there. So I guess if you got to fit it on somebody else, you can. Um, green or black, because the Black Ranger wore it once. These do come down, as you can see. They do come down, and they come all the way off. Um, so I am going to leave them on. But when I do my Green Ranger review, he will have that shield on, y'all, just so you know, because uh, I'm not perpetrating. And then, of course, you got you know the extension here. Pretty cool. Double uh double jointed elbows. Now I'm noticing that it's deeper red here in the elbow. It's not consistently red all the way through and through. I'm not sure why that is. Um, because I'm noticing that too. So as you can see here, it's like a darker red compared to the rest of the ranger. So I'm like, hmm, okay. So maybe the parts, you know, will spray differently. I'm not sure. Uh open his arm back up as you can see here. Bang, bang. Uh good waist motion. It's a little bit harder with the dragon shield on, but you know, it ooh. Knees what it is, that just popped, but I'm not sure that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, great leg extension, it's really, really stiff. But once again, you guys, this is my vi my figure. I didn't get this through sponsorship. I paid for this. So I'm not going to, you know, torture my car my my uh, collectibles to the point where I break them. Double joining here, but you can see it's got a different red, shade of red in here. I actually kind of like it, believe it or not. I didn't like it at first, but as I'm looking at it, I do like it more and more. Um, so of course you got the ankle and the calf here does twist same thing over here You guys all these are the same. I don't want to bloviate forever or what I will. Oh, okay. Wait a minute Hold on because this one isn't bending. Oh the way it should Okay, yeah, that's stiff. All right, so that didn't bend well at all. So I'm confused about that Yeah, so it is double jointed, but it's not giving me the flexibility as in this one Huh is that why they changed the part? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, but overall, I like it because it's part of the remastered line. So I didn't do a comparison Red Ranger uh, with this one 
I'll probably do a quick a quick reel to show you guys the difference between the two. Uh, what I call the OG and the new era is what I'll probably title it. Um, but yeah, so this is the Red Ranger remastered. I got to make sure he stands back up before I put him on the turntable, y'all, because they be tripping. They be tripping. So there we go. Bang. So he's back on the turntable. Let me get that focus right for y'all. There you go. Get it. All right. So as you can see, I have Jason back on the turntable, the remastered version from the 30th anniversary Power Ranger. Once the Ranger, always in Ranger line, because this is pretty much what it came from. But this figure in particular, if you read the back of the box, if you have one, it says Green No More. So that was the three-part series or two-part series on what Tommy lost his powers. Uh, my rating for this, it's a nine. And the reason why it's a nine is because, for one, I don't have a civilian head. Two, all my joint parts that flexes, that the double joint part that they use to do the double jointed. If I'm saying it right, there's too many double jointed words in that sentence. I'm sorry. Um, it's a darker red compared to the Ranger suit that's red. Uh, and three, he doesn't have the Dragon Dagger. So how do you make him the Dragon Shield Red Ranger and no Dragon Dagger? That was the point when he put the suit on, the shield, he had the dagger in his hand. But, you know, that's Hasbro for you. You know, you win some, you lose some. So um, that's pretty much it for this, man. I got B-roll footage coming up in a minute. I want to say thank you guys for watching the video to the end. Thank you so much. Thank you for the support. Thank you to my sponsor, Wild Hunter Clothing. Thank you to my other brother and my YouTuber, brother in uh, Backbody Mystery. If you guys have not seen any of his videos, check them out, as well as all my remastered videos that I've done, especially the one with my daughter, Addison. I think that was pretty cool. I actually get to do something with my child. She gets to be on the internet. She was super excited as well. I check out them Gargoyle videos, man, that I have on there, man. Them Gargoyle videos with Fights and Sanitos, man, they're going to they be buck. And when Gargoyles come back out again with a remastered animated series, they're definitely getting their popularity back again. So I got some more of those videos coming out as well. Um, shout out to my YouTube inspirations. Tall Guy Car Views, Mr. Organic. I'm in the Hellcat, Life of Corey. CJ32, there's a shout out to Stunner Reese. Swear about two times. Um, that's pretty much all I got for this video, you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure you watch this B-roll footage at the end. Better hit you with my slogan. It goes a little something like this. This is your boy, Drew Jeezy. Competition is always easy. You guys be safe. You guys be blessed. The next thing you guys, I am out. lane fast call it high speed i've been working hard yeah i've been working nightly if you think you'll win ha not fucking likely i be taking shots yeah cold-blooded icy watching numbers grow is what i call sightseeing in the front row run it up when they hype me the following grows they know how to ignite me call me ceo i've been running shit right see and i ain't playing games i create my own lane making pleasure out of pain uh Turning losses into gains, I'm the boss, I'm making change, I've been rocking this exchange, uh Popping off and risking things, gonna make a fucking name, I just wanna be famous But I don't want that cheap fame, no I'm not that vain, I just wanna be greatness